Hey there, hi there, hello there, where there, here there, on your daily can of worms with your host at For Reals Jamie. So, since I'm going to keep things real on my channel, I really did a makeup video. It took me an hour, and because I have no skills at doing this, I accidentally deleted my whole video. So, now I'm going to just do a follow me for more recipes videos. I'm going to do two. The first one I've kind of already started because I didn't know I deleted my other video, but I'll let you in on the secret. So I took protein powder, uh, powder sorry, and I use the Muscle Milk brand, but you could use any brand you want. Just read and see what it is that you want from this. Now, I've lost a little bit of weight from some stress and some medical issues, so I want to gain a little bit of weight, so that's why I'm going to use protein powder with Muscle Milk. And then I normally use almond milk to make my protein shakes and I usually just use banana with a tiny bit of chocolate or even just bananas or banana bananas and pineapples together is really good too so today I'm going all out I'm splurging so I'm going to do cookie dough ice cream oreo ice cream bananas and pineapples with some vanilla muscle milk so let's see what we get I am excited aren't you so I'm going to blend this guy up. You can put ice in there if you like it extra cold. And I put a little bit of regular milk in there because to make it a little bit more like a milkshake and a little thinner. So here we go. Let's uh, blend her up. And share your ideas and what you do is to gain weight. And I normally don't have that issue of needing to gain weight. I don't want to bread or sound like I'm bragging. No, I have some medical, medical issues and um, I need to put on some more weight to help that. So that is why we're doing this video. It's not to brag, it's not to be like, oh, you poor skinny people. It's, I have legit medical problems. So I am going to try to make a shake that tastes good and gets the job done. When I used to go to the gym a lot, I used to love the protein shake part after a workout. That was my favorite part of the workout, was drinking a protein shake at the end. So I'm just sharing that for you. If you have any other ideas that you want to share, people that have bad bones that are dis disintegrating, basically, um, it's good to have exercise. Even though you can break your bones, it's still good to exercise and keep weight bearing on those bones that may be disintegrating. So. For me, today, I'm going to drink this protein shake and get a little bit more weight around those bones so they're less easy to break. Shall I fall on the frozen tundra up here in New York where it's freezing right now as we speak and we're getting a snowstorm, my least favorite part of the year. Now, I wish I had the ability to live somewhere warm all winter and come back here for the summer because the summers here are bearable and it's beautiful spring and summer is beautiful fall is beautiful but beyond that no it's not beautiful there's nothing beautiful about freezing there's nothing beautiful about gray skies and cold sorry not to me anyways but you have your opinions you could drop them down i appreciate it let's get this channel up and growing so initially it was supposed to be makeup so we could just share with normies like myself or people that are going through hardships, especially now with all this inflation and it's probably going to get worse because of war talk. So people that just don't have the money to go out and spend on expensive makeup but need to apply it every day like me if I want to go in public, then I need something put on my face so I don't look like a total disaster. And I just use cheap e cheap e cheapy makeup and i have zero skills of application so i was going to share with you my secrets of just how i apply my makeup it's literally just this i start with a foundation i start with actually i start with a base i use coconut oil for everything it's good for dry forehead dry hands dry feet dry lips dry everything you can cook with coconut oil coconut oil is such a versatile Thing to have and no the kind of use of my hair is not the same I use to cook my food no I'm just throwing it out there that it has all these things and it's just such a great product and it smells good too anyway I was just gonna show you that I have no skills I literally just go and I'm 
and this and that and that that and then it was over but it was like literally an hour long and I had before and after and now I don't have that so we're doing the recipe so today talking about bone health I am making a protein shake I love protein shakes if you don't like protein shakes I can understand that like you know and if you're not a fan of healthy foods such as almond milk and you think like, you know, I'm going to stick to regular milk, fine. You can do that. You can stick to regular milk. I like fat-free milk just because it's easier on my stomach because it's thinner. But I have a little bit of lacto issue, lactose issues, so I usually use almond milk for my shakes because I love them. But today we're just using regular milk because that's all we have and bananas, pineapples cookie dough ice cream and Oreo ice cream and I bet it's going to be delicious. I have another recipe, another recipe that we're going to do together from start to finish and we'll share that one. But for now, I'm going to pour this in the cup and see what we get for this. Oh, I can already see that I didn't blend it enough. Whoops. But let's take a sip of this. Mmm. It's marvelous, darling. It's everything I expected and more. So this is a hit. If you need to pack on some pounds for this winter and to help your bones be protected, this is the shake for you. I say try it unless you're allergic to any of those things in there. But protein shakes are really good. So I'm going to get the ingredients ready for the next video. So I'm going to pause this one and we'll start over. So I'm trying to get down a cup that I could store my protein shake in the freezer so I could drink the other half later. But being short at four foot 10, I have to use this grabber, <laughs> grabber to grab cups. Now I'm pretty good at catching because I used to play softball when I was younger. So I'm comfortable just reaching up and grabbing things and throwing them at myself and catching them, even glass things. But I don't recommend it for anybody else unless you're comfortable with your skills of catching because you don't want to catch a black eye or a broken nose. So I'm going to grab my cup, store this, and then I'll start the next recipe. So the next recipe, actually I had a different recipe plan, but again, now I have to improvise because people in my house just can't leave things alone either. I had a Reese's candy bar, not a cup either. They had the candy bar and I was going to dump that in this bowl with some butter and you're just gonna like use as much as you want so we'll start with a half stick we'll see if we need more some marshmallows just throw them in there just throw them in there just throw the marshmallows in there it doesn't matter how many marshmallows you want it's up to you it's your recipe I'm just showing you that you can mix these things together and make the greatest things for so easy so I'm gonna put about that many to start with and I have a stick of butter but since I don't have my Reese's candy bar because somebody had to eat it now I have to improvise on the cereal I'm gonna use so now we're gonna do apple cinnamon Cheerios so we're gonna make apple cinnamon Cheerio bars or at least clumps or something but they're gonna be delicious now what I was gonna do is use the Reese's with the marshmallow, with regular Honey Nut Cheerios. And it comes out so good. But this is my first time making it with the apple cinnamon, so we'll see, we'll just see how it goes. So what I do first is I'm gonna microwave this. And I'm gonna start at a minute and a half. And we'll see if that's gonna be enough. marshmallows to grow and expand because the other day I had a big mess in the microwave and if you ever microwave marshmallows you don't understand it's awful a terrible mess so I love marshmallows do you love marshmallows what else can you make with a bunch of marshmallows besides yams and s'mores and the obvious tell me what you use to make marshmallows with and I know there's like the cereal bars and all that stuff too, and that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm taking the cereal bar route, but give me your ideas if you have better ideas for marshmallows, because I love marshmallows. So 
The marshmallows kind of look like this. They're expanded and they're soft. You don't have to melt them all the way down, and I don't recommend that you melt them all the way down. And then you just take whatever kind of cereal you want and dump it in the bowl. Just dump it in the bowl. You see? And then just like take a spoon and mix it all together. It's gonna be good. And you're gonna get cereal everywhere like I am doing right now, but it's okay because you know who cleans this house? I do. Nobody else. So nobody can bitch and complain because I clean. <laughs> so I can make the mess. Okay, so I feel like we got this big clump here. But I feel like it needs to go back in and get a little softer. So I'm going to add more marshmallow, more butter, and keep this cereal in there. But allow for more cereal to be added when we're done. And then, so we can make a whole bunch of this, because it goes really fast in my house. Everybody eats this. Everybody walking by is just like, oh, that's so good. But like I said, I've never done it this way with the cinnamon and apple ones. It's always been the Reese's peanut butter chocolate bar inside here with Honey Nut Cheerios. So, and you know how expensive these cereal bars at the store. And even now, like cereal, the price of cereal is going way up. So, although I got the Cheerios brand of those, I have Crispy Oats, Millville, Circle O's, or whatever they're called over there. Crispy Oats, Circles, whatever. But that's because I anticipated having my Reese's bar here. So, somebody in this house has a lot of explaining to do. Alright, so I'm going to put it back in the microwave. Add some more butter, more marshmallows, and more cereal. And then I'll show you what I do to end the deal here. So now I've added more marshmallows. Mmm, they smell so good. More butter. And I'm going to dump more cereal in there. Now, there's two ways that you can end this recipe, in my opinion. If you have other opinions and other recipes, you drop them because my recipes never have amounts of anything. Um... Just kind of like a bunch of ingredients that I throw together and give you the end result because I grew up not knowing how to cook. I learned how to cook by watching Chopped on the, the um, Health Food Network or whatever it's on the Food Network. And I learned that you could put all these weird ingredients together and then voila, you can make something that tastes really good. So thank you, Chopped. <laughs> I dedicate all my recipes to that. But seriously though, there's a couple of different ways you can end this, I think. And if you have a different recipe or a different idea or a better way, I used to make this on the stove. I used to put the marshmallows and the butter on the stove and melt it in a pot and all that stuff. But it's really messy. And I hate messes because I'm the only one that cleans them up. So I started doing it in the microwave. And also, too, because I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit lazy. I like everything to get done here and now and fast. And as a nurse for my whole life and my children's life, I used to get them a lot of fast food sometimes because it's just convenient. So I have learned that I prefer my children to eat healthier than that. And I don't really like to cook that much unless I'm off of work. That So I invested some money into some tools that help me. And I think an Instant Pot is one of the best things I've ever spent my money on. My son bought me an air fryer for Christmas last year and that has been... Uh, wonderful and saves a lot of time and saves you from using the oven and getting that all messy and the other thing he got me this year was a food dehydrator I've yet to try it um just uh I've been having some issues with medical stuff and I've been out of work so you know I just haven't had the the funds to get the things that I want to do to try it out but once I do I will let you know all about that so I got the cereal mixing in the bowl, and it looks like I got a bunch of spider webs and a clump of cereal together. And that's okay, because that, it's delicious. So you could either do one of two things. You could put this on parchment paper and just leave it alone and let it solidify itself together, and it tastes good. Or you could put it in the mic, or not in the microwave again, sorry, I apologize. Put it in the oven for like 350 for like 15 20 minutes you have to keep watching it if you like the marshmallows to be a little bit like cooked flavor like if you were outside and you get that brown cooked goodness of them but 
I'm not being picky like that today. I do prefer to bake them at the end, but that's not for today's video. Today's video, we're gonna let them be snatches just sit there and solidify. And I'm sure everybody walking by in this house will be nibbling. So that's what we're gonna do. So I recommend you mix it the best you can in the bowl. It looks like I have a bunch of marshmallows now. So I'm almost nearing a whole box. I just opened this box, it's almost gone. So, it's whatever you, whatever your heart desires, girl. Whatever your heart desires, okay? So, I want you guys to uh, share your recipes, your ideas, your quick recipes, because ain't nobody got time for all these long recipes this day and age. We're cooking, we're walking, we're working, we're exercising, we're moving, we're going. Nobody has time. So, if you got something quick and delicious, Let's talk about it. Drop that in the comments. Let me know. Give me ingredients. You don't even have to give me any kind of like specific amounts if you don't want to. Just the ingredients and then you could taste. The beauty about cooking is you could taste and figure it out. Now bacon, I'm not a baker because you have to be precise with your measurements. And with my ADD off the hook, I can do that. I ain't got time for no precise. It's got to be this, that, and go. Like this box of cereal. Who knows how many marshmallows. A stick of butter. Mm, I don't know. You work it out. If it doesn't get to the consistency you want, then you put more of whatever and you put it back in the microwave. Or you can even bake it to get that more brownish, better flavor on the marshmallow. Which I'm half tempted because it sounds so good, but I'm not going to. So I have one other recipe I'm going to share with you tonight. And unfortunately, you're not going to watch me start it from fart, the uh, fart, yeah, fart, haha, <laughs> fart, start to finish, let me say. But I will give you a finished product and some in-between stuff, and you're going to love it. And you're going to think it's amazing, and it's so super easy and fast. So let me put this out on the paper and roll it all out nice so it can solidify. And then I'll show you the last recipe of the day I have for you. So there is my wonderful, beautiful mess. And I have decided that I do want to bake it because I'm thinking I want that extra, extra brownness on my marshmallows, so to speak, because it's going to be delicious. I did taste it already and it's going to be good. So once it solidifies, it's going to be delish. Stay tuned. I got one more. So. The next recipe I have for you is so, so good. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna flip this around so you can see the ingredients that I used and I'll explain it to you as we go. So I made this pork in the crock pot and I used this original Tabasco barbecue sauce and we like our stuff extra spicy so we put this in there too. You see, I just paid a dollar each for those items at some bargain grocery store, which is awesome. But this barbecue sauce is amazing. So I cooked it in the crock pot yesterday for a good four hours or so. And it turned out so good. So then the next thing we're going to do since it's leftovers is we're just going to honk some of this in this microwave safe bowl. And I'm going to microwave it to heat it back up because now that I'm showing you all these recipes, I'm starving again and I'm gonna have some more. So, that's gonna go in there and that's plenty for me. So, we're gonna microwave this and then we're gonna put it on some street taco tortilla shells. So let's get that warming up. Next, we're gonna take our street taco tortillas, which I bought the Mission brand because they're soft and they're perfect little guys. We're gonna put some cheese. I like to put the cheese first so it kind of melts underneath there. Okay, and like you could do as much cheese as you want because like honestly cheese, I mean, it's never ending. I could use cheese forever and never be tired of it. So we're gonna put our cheese on there. So I'm adding more cheese to the top because like I said, just you can never have too much cheese. Cheese is life. Okay, so there's that. 
The next ingredient is zesty pickles. You just cut them up small. You add them in there. They're so good. Or whatever pickle you like. If you don't like zesty, if you don't like spicy barbecue sauce, and you don't want all the hot, don't add hot peppers. Don't get Tabasco barbecue sauce, but get something that you love, the barbecue sauce that you like. And then just a few very thin sliced purple onions. And voila, you have a masterpiece. These street tacos can be served with, these tacos can be served with anything barbecue. So any side dish that you would use in a barbecue, like macaroni salad, potato salad, um, beans, baked beans, awesome. Any kind of side dish like that will work. Last night I served mine up with some mashed potatoes that were jalapeno popper mashed potatoes. It's mashed potatoes with jalapenos, cream cheese, bacon, um, topped off with some cheddar cheese and some scallions, but it was so good. So I hope you enjoyed these recipes. And if you got some easy recipes that taste delicious, drop them in the comments. Like, subscribe to my page. I won't always rant about politics. So tonight I took a break and it feels good. But I will stay real and I'll keep posting and keep communicating with you because it's important that we communicate. And if you have any recipes, ideas, anything like that, that's delicious and quick, please share them. Let's share our ideas and our opinions, America. You people have a great night. I'm done and I'm starving now. So I'm going to go hammer down these tacos. Peace out.